<laughs> Hi YouTube, it's Renee and I'm back again to talk about my first 24 hours with braces. So yesterday was Thursday, June 9th and I had an appointment at 10 o'clock in the morning to complete my braces. I went in already having the top row of teeth covered in brackets and I had two teeth extracted, my premolars on the top. So I went in to complete the process and here's what happened. Here's how they look. All right, so I got there at 10 o'clock in the morning and I was called right back and they got started right away with me. So my orthodontist, Dr. Lee, looked in my mouth, he looked at the left side, the right side, had me bite down so he could make some final decisions. And he decided to go ahead, place the lower brackets, put wires through them, and insert two bite blocks into my upper teeth. So I got a lot of metal going on in my mouth right now. I got hooks in the back. Rubber band treatment doesn't start yet, but I got hooks the rubber bands so um, he went ahead and put on the lower brackets your mouth gets dry when you have braces he put in the lower brackets and what they do is make sure your teeth are dry so there's a little fan blower keeping your teeth dry then they put adhesive on each tooth and the adhesive all the way around and then they insert the brackets and let them dry. Brackets are dried using an ultraviolet light ray and so you have to close your eyes and they put up a shield and they slowly go through your mouth in about six sections to make sure that all of your teeth are dry. Um, it doesn't take long at all, a couple minutes. So once the brackets are attached to the adhesive and that's dry, then he went ahead and inserted two bite blocks. I hope you could see them. I can't. Ah, I have. I have. I have. Bite blocks on each side. And it, they stick out a little on the inside of your mouth, so you feel them on your tongue. At least I know I do. So my tongue is sore from hitting. A little piece of metal that's sticking out from the bite block. Mm, mm, like I said, a lot of metal. So once the brackets were placed on the lower teeth, they measured wire and threaded it through and cut it in the back. So it's supposed to be a fairly snug fit. And the wire is going all the way around the brackets on the lower teeth and then all the way around on the brackets for the upper teeth. So I've got wires, brackets, hooks, bite blocks. There's a lot going on in my mouth. Before I went to my appointment, I did take 400 milligrams of ibuprofen as a way to pre-medicate myself. They didn't tell me to do that. I did it on my own because I figured if they're gonna be manipulating my teeth and moving them, I'm gonna go ahead and get something in my system so I don't feel a lot of pain. I could feel the tightness as they put in the wires and attach them to the back brackets. Back here. It's tight. Not really tight, but snug. I'll say snug instead of tight. So you can feel it. It's sore. So I'm just 24 hour later, still sore. Okay. So I'm glad that I took the ibuprofen before my appointment because I can only imagine what I would have felt had I not. So I'm glad I took it. And I also took more ibuprofen about four hours later. So I kept it going in my system. So everything was done by 11 o'clock in the morning. I had upper and lower braces all, all installed. And you can see I have clear braces. So the brackets are clear. And I chose pearl colored rubber band for the front and in the back because I did want some color they were only putting bands on one of the brackets in the back so I chose lime green yeah.
hopefully you can see that. It's a really pretty color. All the colors fade because you're brushing and drinking. All the colors fade. So no matter what you choose, just know it's not going to be bright and vibrant lime green. The whole time it will fade. Some people suggest getting blue because when the blue fades, it fades to white. I've also heard that when the pearl fades, it turns to clear. So we'll see what happens. This is this the first 24 hours of pearl. So I'm happy. Um, my lower teeth are having a harder time. They're very, very sore. And those are the teeth that were less crowded. Go figure. But, okay, so everything was finished at 11. At about 4 o'clock, I noticed the inside of my mouth, all along here, is scratched up with the wire and the brackets. So I have been using a lot of wax already. And what I did, because they gave me more wax, this is just plain wax. I bought some wax that is mint flavored. I haven't opened that yet. But this is just the plain wax the orthodontist gave me. So here's what I did because all along my lower teeth hurt. All of this hurts. My upper lip is used to having the brackets because I had the brackets put on first. So they teach you to roll the wax into a ball. Let me show you. And put it on and put it on the bracket. But what I did, because again I noticed that the pain is all along my lower mouth. So what I do, let me show you, is I roll a piece of wax into like a little log. Mm -hmm. And uh, my teeth are very sensitive. My teeth are very sensitive, so just even pushing the wax on hurts. But I just put it on in a little log, and it gives enough room in my inner mouth, my inner cheek, whatever that part of the mouth is called, inner lip, so that's not scratching so badly anymore. So it does hurt. Um, there was a lot of scratching. Then I had the pain from the wires pulling the teeth. Overall, just mouth soreness. Last night when I touched my teeth, it's like my teeth didn't feel like teeth. They were like numb. It felt like I was touching someone else's mouth. I couldn't feel it on myself. So I took pain medication before I went to bed. Put wax all over on every bracket because I could feel metal poking everywhere. If it looks like wires need to be cut, I will go back. But it's just, I think, getting used to the brackets. And that's what happened with the upper row. So you do have to give it a little time to get used to it in your mouth. But if you feel something stabbing, poking... You got to call your orthodontist to get back in. So anyway, I did not sleep well at all last night because it's almost a throbbing ache in your whole mouth. And not just that, but I was very hungry because my teeth are so sensitive and tender. I can't chew anything. I did try today to chew something. It did not work. So even after 24 hours, it's okay. So... I'm drinking protein smoothies, and I'll talk about those foods in another video. And what I made for myself to eat today, I sauteed chicken in olive oil and a little butter, and cut up some onions in there, made it very moist. Onions give off a lot of moisture when you cook with them, so it's like a lot of moisture. It made its own, not gravy, but sauce. It's very liquidy. And the chicken, I cooked it so it's very, very tender. I boiled a bunch of broccoli until it was mushy. And then I smashed it down further. And mashed potatoes. I mashed them with a lot of almond milk. And made very soft and velvety mashed potatoes. So that's what I ate for lunch. I had the chicken, cut it up, like cubed it, put it in a blender for a count of three took it out so I didn't have to chew it much I just kind of moved it around in my mouth and I was able to swallow it down very well it went down very very well I've been drinking a lot of water because your mouth is dry it's got a lot going on that's a lot of metal 
brackets and everything else in your mouth. So I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm moisturizing my mouth a lot. Uh, before I went in for my appointment, because they open your mouth so wide, I do use Vaseline Lip Therapy. I also use Carmex. So I keep everything that I need in a little go-to organizer bag. And this just... Oh. And this just has everything I need. Like you need your travel toothbrush, some toothpaste, you know, something for your lips, all the good stuff you need. I just keep it in one pouch. That way when I change purses, I just put in the insert. Or if I use a tote bag, that's perfect. It sits right up in your tote bag and you have everything you need. You don't have to worry about it. So I do like organizing this stuff, especially because... Um, yeah, I got a lot more to carry now. So, another thing I wanted to tell everybody, yeah. Um, when I go to sleep, what I did was I put wax balls. This side has balls. I put wax balls in the pressure points here, here. Put a little log roll there, and then on the upper teeth, here. So I strategize where I can put a ball of wax and press it into the bracket so it stays. And it stayed overnight, no problem. And I didn't have to feel all that scraping and scratching. My poor tongue, it's like, what do you do with your tongue? <laughs> you know, but my tongue keeps hitting the bite block that's on my upper left side. So my tongue is really, really sore on the left side. It's a weird feeling. So for the first 24 hours, my mouth is just getting used to having so much metal in it, so many brackets in it. The wax does help. So he did give me extra wax yesterday. Shout out to Dr. Lee and to Patty. You guys are the best. Um, they're very comforting. Patty did tell me too that for the next appointment, she said, eat before you get here. No kidding, because my teeth are so sore. I'm not going to eat the day after having braces. What I should have done Thursday morning was have a bigger, bigger breakfast. But I wasn't hungry. But eggs, sausage, and the rest of it because, yeah, I'm not chewing for a while. I could tell that. Some people say it lasts up to a week to get used to. We'll see how long it takes me, you know. But right now I'm good with my protein smoothies in the morning. I made that soft food for myself and I seasoned my food just like I would normally. It was delicious. You know, I could taste the garlic, the onions, and the seasonings really well. So it didn't taste like baby food. And I'm not going to buy baby food, even though I thought about doing that to keep it on hand. But as long as I cook my food and just put it in a blender quickly, it's going down well. I have soup, I have pudding uh what else do i have soup pudding and a lot of smoothies a lot of bananas so i think i'll be okay for the weekend but we'll see as my mouth gets more accustomed to having all these things in it i'm really excited because it's like i got day one over with oh look at that i got day one over with so i'm really really excited so thank you for coming on this journey with me you know I'm watching other people's videos and we're going to help each other through. I'll just be glad when I can get some more steak nachos. I miss steak nachos. For some reason, I miss them. And another cool thing that I have, I bought this a while ago though. My iPhone has a mirror cover and mirror covers come in handy because I'm constantly checking the mirror to see what's going on. Okay, what's poking me? I can feel the wire protruding and then I can move my wax around. So I'm constantly checking with mirrors. So keep a mirror on you at all times. You will thank me later. <laughs> so I hope everybody's having a good Friday and have a great weekend. I'll check back in another time. Bye.